I'm going to talk about everyday astrology. I have said before that astrology is not superstition, particularly Vedic astrology, the astrology developed in India was created by the seers, saints, sages, who stay in contact with the divine. That's why Vedic astrology is very different and more profound than Western astrology. Astrology can give you guidelines on a daily basis. I just uh, want to share with you how I personally use astrology on a daily basis. I just came, uh, came from lunch. I just went to, with another person to a Thai restaurant. We had lunch together and when lunch plates were brought, Mine was a pink plate and hers was a green plate. For some reason, she switched the plate. Then I started telling her, the pink plate was mine because I am Libra. And Libra is ruled by Venus. And you are a Virgo, and Virgo is ruled by Mercury, and whose color is green. By exchanging these plates, you are fulfilling my desire to give you more money. So it happened because of my deep sankalpa. Sankalpa is my thought. Then the food was served. I had yellow curry that again corresponds to my uh, Venus. And she had green curry and that corresponds to her sign uh, Virgo and Mercury. There is no way that you can escape the influence of the planets because the planets are the agents that carry out your karma. And if you use um, another example for my own life. I am now on YouTube. I am number eight um, today on the most subscribed uh, for, uh, people on the Guru's category. And number eight will be a difficult number. For me to move to number seven, I have to work uh, to get members uh, like three weeks worth, then I will move to seven. From seven to eight will be easier. Uh, from seven to six will be easier. But six is going to be even more greater, be, uh, the difficulty will be greater. Now, I'm now on number eight. I'm going to go through some difficulty to move to seven. And from seven, I will move easily to six, but in six, I will be stuck for, unless I bring members worth for a month. To simplify this problem, while in number eight, 
and number six, I will experience some difficulty to move to the next stage. Why? Because eight itself is a, a difficult number signifying Saturn and six, although it represents um, Venus, it has also aspects of the sixth house in the horoscope and, uh, and Mars energy also. So what do I do? So I know that eight is going to give me problems just so I can do something like propitiate the planet so that I won't go through a lot of hardship in moving to number seven, uh, number seven. So when I am in six similarly to move to five, then I will do propitiate uh, Mars and also use Venus's energy in order to move quickly. This is the practical use of astrology. Uh, the planets are out there and then they tell you this is what is going to happen. And you can use this energy in your personal life. I just want uh, more and more people to use this practical knowledge. If you go to my astrovate.com site, it can give you a lot of information on the planets.